uh, hate raids tonight. Because I checked the Twitch uh, support Twitter and uh, there was like a huge mention about it. Oh god. Actually see us, no. Oh, I shall uh, <coughs> I shall also check. Uh, okay, yeah, so it didn't change my things, right. Yeah. I can uh, see you. Yes. Play. Nice. Okay. Any luck? Also, there has been uh, like great influx of DMCA uh, takedown notices. Oh yeah, for those who are using copyrighted music, yeah. Yeah. Luckily, I've been I've been alright to avoid that. I've never used it, uh, copyrighted music with uh, live streams. I've always used royalty free or uh, video game music. Yes. That's it. That's it. It works. I've plugged in various places. Plugging. Shameless plugging. Yes, first twenty minute BS <laughs> chatting. I mean what? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yes.
Hey, to madness. <laughs> hey. As in the words of Luna Lovegood, you're just as sane as I am. There you go. <laughs> yes. Hey. We're all mad here. Already <laughs> so. I'm sure we'll be about to um <laughs> I poke you and wake you up and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean same. You'll uh, stay awake because of you don't want to drink the coffee, but you have to <laughs> in a case kind, that you are getting too tired. It kind of reminds me of, of this one time when um me and my brother were awake at about 6 o'clock in the morning doing dares on a Saturday. Because, you know, that's what you do when you're a 10-year-old and a 6-year-old. And my brother was going to make me eat a spoonful of salt until my mum and dad woke up and just caught us. In the act. <laughs> it was like we had this this board game called literally called Dare. It was one of the dares. Yeah, it was like proper, proper old. <laughs> but they stopped me just as I ate a spoonful of salt <laughs> about eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. <laughs> yep. Um, ah, go on. One more thing. Uh, have any of you ever drank coffee with salt in it? No, and I bet it tastes horrible because it's got coffee in it. I was going to say it's got salt in it, but okay. <laughs> I can honestly <laughs> say it's not as bad as you think. I've actually, I was dared to drink ac <laughs> black coffee with salt. I think that's yeah. like a thing anyway. It's not like that outrageous of a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, you have. Now. Thank you, chat. Yeah. Yeah, I was um, going to say uh, that you have chat was saying that you was voiceless. Yeah, I was voiceless for the full voiceless. seven minutes. <gasps> well. Um. I don't mind, but this has been Windows' problem. It was fine. It was playing up all sorts of heck yesterday. Trying to chat to people on Discord, it'd be going, oh, by the way. We got new sound devices for you. We're going to use the Steam Stream Audio setup, but the microphone's right here. It's plugged in. Why have you swapped? It was horrible. Silly thing. Thank you, Twitch Chat. You are you're proving yourself helpful. Yay! You may have a cookie. I will not, Peeting. I will not <laughs> play a kill all of you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you guys are in trouble. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> well, I mean, great. I mean, Valon baked like, like walking, yeah. walking cookies, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, th this is, this is very true. I, yeah, I don't so like tea. And, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, what can I say? I'm a traitor to the British stereotype. You're welcome. <laughs> but see, she chooses a paladin and she's a tea shunner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder Marlon killed her. I mean, why, do I, why do I now want a paladin that sticks to the code of tea? Oh my god, the ocean. Whose, weapon, whose spell focus is literally a mug. <laughs> Yes, no, with no, no, number no, one no, paladin. Must be together. They're ever separate. How about spells don't work? Uh, <laughs> how about having uh, like uh, you could actually do like Sheldon Cooper did in uh, Big Bang Theory that uh, you uh, your character loves tea, but there's uh, some weird reason why he cannot have tea. 
Um, I guess. I don't know. Because, like, uh, Sheldon uh, hates, uh, like, uh, dogs, but uh, his uh, D&D character loves them, but uh, he's allergic. The character is allergic to dogs, so he can't be around them. No. Makes sense. But any, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, but anyways, what happened last last time? Because we time. didn't do anything last week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A couple of weeks ago, for those who need catching up, our wonderful band <coughs> of adventurers have been travelling across the world to collect artifacts to deal with a dragon known as Epinrath, who has now been unleashed, maybe by the party's intervention. Whoops! And, and Simeon, of course, is deviated from putting him back in his cage to making him a new one. With that, you need to go to the Elemental Plains, but your first stop has been to this small town of you... Korea and the Dragonborn Empire, as seen on the map here, on the edge of the Umber Woods next to the Dragonspine Mountains. A town mm. that is forever raining, caught in the thunderstorm, but it's home to a monastery Crangle. where monks train and fight with the way of lightning. Yeah. And are generally bad, bad. I can't even say the word because I'm trying to keep it family friendly. <laughs> Atrocious because we pawned them last week. Well, last time. Well, you got the ones that were yes. skiving that came to the bar and decided to cause trouble. <laughs> so, the, yeah. the skiving ones, imagine the ones that actually dedicate themselves and do some training. Things I had yeah. planned. <laughs> Well. These things, I believe. <laughs> <coughs> we left you all in the aftermath of the battle. You had made a... Well, I think T-Dak was in the middle of making a human centipede. Um, as was Kira. No, I, I was peeing on one of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> marking your territory. Yeah, exactly. You know, marking That's my it. prey. That's it, yeah. I wanted to curse. kill them... But no one would let me. <laughs> well, I c can I just say that we were on seven viewers, and and now you've you've said that, and we're down to three. So. Okay. I will be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is uh, not the first time that has happened. I um, mean. Yeah, <laughs> because I've uh, I myself uh, once was uh, doing uh, pretty rough, like pretty rough humor. I was uh, I had like seven, and then it dropped down to three, and uh, we were just joking around. We don't well, probably those four were there. As they say in Finland, their, their floral bonnet was too tight. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing I think we have over here as well. Yes. So yeah, I, I have the mountain map I left you guys on. The quaint and simple bar in the void, I shall call it now. <laughs> as a spare player space. But yeah, you, you dealt with, with some of the monks, the, the local... Uh, Publican is like really happy that you dealt with them. Apparently, they have been quite thuggish and rough, and has been actually quite disappointed in them. As the uh, people that used to run a monastery and everything in years gone by were quite dedicated, they'd come here, pick up supplies, and go, and maybe give a little bit of aid to repair the town or whatever, since it's kind of their martial arts that have been causing the thunderstorms. Mm. Their teachings, as it were. Mm. But, but yeah, Tedag is gonna ha like take the drink that one of the guys tried to steal. Down at one, heck yeah! It is a very bitter sake. He don't give a shit at this point. I mean, he doesn't give <laughs> a rat's. About it, there we go. Save it for family friendly purposes, maybe. I don't know. 
No, that wasn't so <laughs> Fury rats behind. <laughs> well, eh, anyways. So are we going up to the monastery? Oh. Go to the monastery, get rested. For me, sneeze, apparently. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I gotta say that I'm actually on the world map, not in the tavern. Oh yeah, that's true. I didn't bring you guys over. Yes, please. Ooh. <laughs> It's like the Matrix. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh my. Just be careful if you see it. <coughs> yes. Anyway, obviously well. it's like <coughs> mm, well, Ren would uh, like to actually empty out uh, everyone's pockets. Okay. And all they are carrying. They don't carry much. I mean, they were dressed pretty neatly as far as monks go. Yes. However, you do find on their person, amongst, amongst them all, uh, approximately two gold pieces in total. Okay. Nice. Ooh. And a very, very nice looking dagger. It's not nice. quite a scythe, but it's close enough mm -hmm. in terms of design. And if you pick it up and hold it in your hands, you get like you can feel the arms on the the hairs on the back of your arms stand on end and everything else. And it's it's got a bit of a tingle. Yes. Shush, Tash. <laughs> He's not meant to know that yet. Hash. It wouldn't be the first time. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I didn't know that it could be that way. I mean, we still, uh, <laughs> if you haven't forgotten, uh, Meren has a scimitar, which is blessed. I mean, true, very true. Point. So. Good point. <laughs> so, um. Marin is actually just going to hand the dagger over to Kira, who would probably uh, get more use out of it. It's as if you don't trust Tedek with a dagger. That is actually very true. I mean, yeah, that is fair. In, in Kira's own words, it's not so much like we don't trust you, Tedek, it's more we don't trust you not to eat it. But if you want the dagger, you can have the dagger. No, Kira, Kira have dagger. Kira earned it. I didn't really earn it, but we're well, okay. <laughs> Slips it in a sheath in a boot. <clears throat> Any backup weapon for later, I suppose. Know. Yeah. So, what else would you like to do? Well, are we gonna stay in this tavern for the rest of the is it night time I take it? When we arrive. Because yeah. we arrived because we've been travelling, hadn't we? Mm -hmm. I mean yes. Yeah. So, shall also, we it's... rest up and yeah, probably would Get be going. Idea. Because uh, we are... Uh, uh, it's uh, really coming down outside, so I wouldn't want to go out there now. Can we... yeah, can we put bad people outside in rain? Tell sure. no like bad people in here. Uh, Could the, do. The land will take you. Sure, throw them out. I might wake up. I will. Rain. I will proceed to chuck them out. <laughs> <laughs> but Ted will just drag one of them by their leg with his teeth. 
it's, it's like, why, why do I see that I could just like bring T deck over and just go, there's a talent in this little one. You see, you grab one, one near the buttocks area, one near the head, lift, and you. <laughs> you need to, need to yeet them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, probably so I can see Garnix doing that, and then T-Deck, because being a half flake, can't really like get the full lift, so instead just grabs by the ankles and just like spins them out the door. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Massive yeah, just... amount of distance. <clears throat> with the body hitting the soft mud and cobblestones, they're just sliding gently. <laughs> Well, Melrin, Melrin will uh, take one of them as uh, uh, Cardex uh, told him uh, to do and just uh, chucks him out without caring is the door open or not because he's going <laughs> he's going to go outside and the door ain't going to stop it. No, and with all strength it's going to go badly for him. So the door swings open with the force of you throwing this guy out his face is now broken and bloodied. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't dying before, and, he's uh, certainly dying now. And, uh, <laughs> Melren will just say, and stay out! <laughs> Get out of me, pub! <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love that EastEnders reference. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys throw them out, the publicans. Grateful you can have the rooms for free for tonight. Yes! Token, thanks. <laughs> you don't get food, though. If you want food, you're going to have to pay for it, and he can't offer much. Tell that can go hunting for food. Tell that don't mind us. We could eat you, you bad is, people like, outside. Yeah, little half thing, right? Tedak. Can we eat no. people outside? No. 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 <laughs> but, but. No. But no. But no. <laughs> Tedak, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Tedak, no, no, no eat Tedak, bad yes. people. <laughs> Tedak, no eat bad people. Grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble, sort of thing. Grumble. How can I just imagine, uh, like, <laughs> Tidak uh, going, uh, like, uh, stomping angrily <laughs> into our room? No, I just imagine him, like, sort of pouting with his arms crossed and, like, won't let me eat people. Apparently, cannibalism isn't acceptable. No, 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 no. He's a very sad half thing. Yeah, he is sad. <laughs> I'm uh, terrible. Okay, I'll just notice that the stream's not stopped, but if I load up in a new window, it's not... It says for life, but you can't watch the stream for whatever reason. Yeah, my screen's, like, blank. I've got all, like, the the chat all like that. My stream seems to be going okay. Yeah, same. Mine's all right. Yeah, one's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> the, the one I got spare along with Twitch. Just to make sure it is working, that's fine. <coughs> Apologies, everyone. We've been having troubles with Twitch today, so... Part, part of my brain's, like, in panic mode. Oh, please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Anyway. So, yeah, okay. That's sorted. I won't worry about opening another window. Just to make sure the stream's working. So, you have your night rest. There's a red... It's a peacefully night sleep. I don't know if any of you've been out somewhere where there's like a massive thunderstorm outside the window. Hmm. It's, uh, it's a mix. Just out of. Go. On. There we are. There we go. I don't was worry. just. Uh, I was uh, just going to say that uh, one of our adventurers uh, weren't here. Yeah. But now, continue. Okay. I, I, sorry. I didn't realise you dropped out. No, no, it's my fault. Don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, yes. So, so you had a good night's sleep, ish, I suppose. I don't know how your characters will feel about the sound of the universe ripping apart overhead. 
And that's the kind of noise you're getting all night, it's just constant cracks of thunder and lightning. I'm just imagining, you know, the the guy on um, Overwatch. What is that melody? Exactly. All I can think of is um, since I've been rewatching it, re-listening to the audiobook, is American Gods. Mr. Wednesday going well. Today is my day. Although it sounds more like Thor's day if you listen outside. Yes. So anyway, yeah, you wake up, it's still thundering and lightning, the rain has not even eased off. And of course reality dawns upon you all now that Korea is a funky town, more because it is forever stuck in a thunderstorm. It can never leave. <laughs> it, it, it just more wax and wanes as time <coughs> goes on. It appears today is a waxing day. Everything is full of lightning. And Malvern is typing something. What can Malvern be typing? I can just uh, imagine. Go ahead. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, uh, don't, don't mind me. Like, I bet it's an emote to say he's going to go find an umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> <clears throat> Yes. So, anyways, what would you boys and girls like to do? There's only one thing we can do when you're surrounded by a storm. Go into the eye of it! Yeah! Yes. I'm so it was sorry. like my father once told me when I was but a young orc. The greatest challenge is seen at the center of the eye of the storm. So, as you all step out into the muddy roads and begin heading your way towards the monastery, which is pretty much like the only other road in town. So you've got like, the main high street which goes through, and then where the inn is, is on a crossroads. Oh, the monks are gone. Okay. There, well, it's the first thing you do notice as you leave. Yeah. Uh. Um, but, like... The main road itself has only one junction off of it for another main road that goes up into the mountains, which is the one you happen to follow. And on your way up and everything, as you clear the town, I'd like you all to make dexterity saves for me. Um, is this something that I can see? Same. Yes, your danger senses would trigger. Heck like yeah. Advantage. <laughs> oh no, that's... Okay. Oh, oh no! Did we want? What was it? A perception. Oh wow! Oh, no. <laughs> what the hell? oh god! And you're supposed to be good. <laughs> no. Okay, now I'm scared for me because I have zero decks. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. You got advantage of good decks. There you Ooh. go. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, is it uh, oh, magic? Right. Or is it something I could see? It, it is uh, because of how evasion works and you've had to make a deck save, you do get to have your deck save. Uh, can yes. you roll one for Kira for me? Uh, I mean, since I have access to her character sheet, I could. <coughs> Bear with. Come on. On character sheet. Hello. So, so if you get into combat, certain things like it's going to be pretty manic. Also, oh god! Reason, god, your camera's gone down. <gasps> oh. Damn. Oh, it's been it's been doing that for some reason. Okay, oh, so in dexterity like saving throw. Okay. There we go. Come back. There we are. Look at that lovely face. Look at that magnificent beard. I try. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. So, uh, oh, yeah. Marlon, Cardex, and Kira are the only three that made the save. LOL. <laughs> oh no. But yes. Oh god. What? <laughs> oh shit! So, thankfully though, Marlon also takes half because evasion is a thing. Yes. 
So Kira, Gardex, Marlon, and Melrin, you take 25 points of lightning damage. 25. And Tidak, you poor hapless little fool, you take the full 52. Oh god! Let me get god. my calculator out. Let me get First my calculator all, out. I need to actually press a long rest so I can actually <laughs> have <laughs> the benefit of the rest. So, meanwhile, Tirdak uses calculator and finds out they are half past dead. Uh, uh yeah, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so it was 25, minus 25? Yep. Yeah. It, it's more the fact of, like, you are hit straight in the face by a bolt of lightning, Tirdak, and everybody else all suffers the, the after effect. Yeah. Sizzle, sizzle. Mm. <laughs> it's painful. It hurts. <clears throat> Tedek will see this as a ble as a kind of uh, indirect attack from some kind of battle going on in the sky. Caught in the, uh, <laughs> the splash damage. Yeah, essentially. Fair enough then. Well, good news is, that's all that you really suffer on the road. Okay. Uh, that oh. was the worst thing that could ever happen to you. As I rolled better. I don't think I can. Anyway, so you make those final few yards up towards the edge of the mountains themselves. And as you get there, you see now the monastery in sight. Carved into the side of this mountain is the majestic sight of a blue dragon. It's head and its claws sort of pulling almost pulling out in like a meditative pose and what would be its two front claws seem to be dripping waterfalls constantly between its hands and the, the actual dragon's head itself with all the heavy rain and where it collects it, it looks like the dragon itself is actually shedding very heavy tears and constantly crying no poor dragon mm. It is a majestic side. Those of you who would like to, go ahead and give me a history check. Mm. I'll do one for Kira. As I'm uh, efficient, it would help. Uh, do, do, what do, do, do. what check was it again? History. Histoire, indeed. Okay, that's Kira's. Oh, minus one to history? Sounds like me! <laughs> and, you know what? For funsies... Let's get yeah. it beats you all. Oh. Nope, never mind. A man can just... <clears throat> My history check in a nutshell. I kind of remember what I ate yesterday. That's it. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh-huh. All right, then. So I should bring you over to the monastery map. Ooh. And you all down here. You might need to update your health, your, hit, your hit points, because I used old tokens to copy across. Oh, that's all right. Mine's up to date. Yeah, mine's too. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, the only one that knows anything about this place really is Marlon. You know that the monastery itself is dedicated to oh, Azulon, the blue dragon. Also, Tesh seems to be disconnected from Vault 20. Um, yeah, I sort of pressed refresh because it was being a little mm. bit slow for me, but that's okay. Fool of a took. But yes. There we go. So you should be able to see yourselves down here. All gloriously lit on the edge. But anyway, yes. So, as I was saying, this monastery is dedicated to the blue prime dragon Azulon. The Lord of the Skies, hence the constant thunder and lightning. As his domain. The monastery itself is divided up into three distinct parts, as it were. And you get 21. So, what would you know? 21. So, you'd know that the monastery itself is broken up into three parts. Each part is meant to represent a function of the storm. So, one is the wind, one is the thunder and lightning, and the third is rain. Mm. What? Oh, God, this is going to be like big trouble in Little China. We're going to have to fight like Chinese dudes <laughs> with weird weapons. <laughs> Look, when it came to doing this bit in the old campaign, I may have been watching a lot of Ip Man. 
Yes! <laughs> okay, it was kind of in the mind, my mind the entire time, so it's very dojo. <laughs> yes. But anyway, each master of the three parts are called a member of the uh, part of a organization known as the Triumvirate of Storms. And it has not been a full triumvirate for several years. The last person to hold all three titles also held the artifacts you are after. To be a young half elf named Durathil. Mm hmm. But that's as far as your history goes with this place. And as you well. tell everyone with this kind of information, you have <coughs> reached the gates. In the pouring downpour of rain. So yes, the dynamic lighting is on, uh, and so is restrictive movement, so. Oh. <laughs> they fixed dynamic lighting, it works now. Awesome. I'm so happy it works. Hey, you know what, that's actually really sick. <laughs> yes, I've, I found out what the problem cool. was. Thing they made it not work. So you can say characters have night vision. So like characters have sixty foot dark vision. Well, you say they have sixty foot night vision. Big problem with that is it breaks how it handles the the display in some in some weird sense. Right. Because it goes like <coughs> you can see sixty feet. Oh, but your light source is only giving you ten. And so you got seventy feet. And it also ignored the actual lines of sight entirely. It was weird. Oh. So it turns out turning off night vision means everyone can see. Because then it means nobody overlapped their sight vision with someone who has night vision. <coughs> do you not see, Fair play. Do you not see black circles everywhere? You can see your light. Also, the map is set to explore yes. mode. So as you explore, you will see what the terrain is like and you go back and double check yourselves. Anyways. My weary adventurers, you approach, but there is no one at the door, or no one at the gate. The garden itself is a sully and unkept mess. Grass that at one point looks like it only got oh, to the wow. height, same height as the brickwork. God damn it, Edex, slow down. <laughs> he, he's a very impatient guy. I'm not even through describing the courtyard, and you're going straight to the <laughs> gate. Slow down! <laughs> <laughs> Got, got, <coughs> just imagine me behind you as like a tour guide with the book going, so down! I say, it's, it's a tree, it's a bush, it's a thing, let's go! Trees, bushes, grass, long, up to your knees, go! <laughs> right, okay, the door to this next section is unlocked. Yes, I didn't bother putting in doors, because doors were also pain in the ear and kept breaking. Inside you see several monks. Yes, they say they are Gizari monks, but they are just templates. It was easy okay. to copy paste pre-existing monsters to make my own. That's still a problem you need to fix roll 20. If I make a monster I want to be able to have multiple tokens not tied to the same sheet. <coughs> it would be no way that. Anyway, it's hard to see several monks. They are all currently sat on single mats in deep meditation some sort of in that Japanese kneeling position, so they've got like all their feet under them, others are in cross legged. <laughs> and at the back of this room, T Dak, you can just make out, all the way over there, a statue of a blue dragon. Looking, okay. looking really <coughs> smug. It's the only way of putting it. Um, but the monks themselves pay you no heed. Okay. So, oh, is the dragon still in the room, or just? It's it's a statue, it's not an actual dragon. All right. 
Uh, can we sort of say hello just out loud and see if them? I mean, I mean, if these your... guys are related to the guys we beat up the other day, <laughs> they may not be happy to see us. Yeah, but that was last yeah. night. They may not know, like, they, they may, may not have told them yet. Yeah, or they may not remember. Or we could just sneak by them. I mean, they're pretty... I mean, they're pretty, um... Uh, deep they're, in thoughts. Yeah. They're pretty well. deep in something right now. <clears throat> yes. Well, as, well, as you all sitting there having this back-and-forth discussion, one of them does approach you at the door. And he opens it, and beyond is a human who's probably into his mid-40s by now. He's got uh, the almost full-on Kung Fu Grandmaster beard going. And he sits there and says, oh, Welcome to the Monastery of Azulon. How can I be of service for you today? Uh, well, I doubt he's still around, but we've been sent by a friend of Dorothil's um, to come and just ask him about something that happened a long time ago. Lady Sin Shinju, Katone, if that rings any bells to anyone in the monastery. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. I was going to go. say, we mean no harm. <laughs> Come on, Marlon. Ooh, oh, oh. Not bad. Nice. <clears throat> he gives you a slight bow. Like, uh, one moment, please do come in. And the two inside, and he goes through a set of double doors over to this side, and you can hear him pattering off somewhere. <laughs> a few minutes pass, these monks themselves, they don't seem to move or take any notice. Ooh. I'm just imagining, uh, like, in um, Ace Ventura, you know, the second one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Terrible. Oh, it's my favourite! And they take him out to the back room, and he's just in a back room with a load of animals. Oh, yes. They, like, keep him locked away. <laughs> but yeah, a few minutes pass, and nothing seems to happen. You're going to hear the sound of the torrential rain outside. And eventually, the monk then returns. Uh, most sincere apologies. We cannot seem to find the, uh, the Grand Master at this time. He's gone missing for several weeks, apparently. We've all been in rather deep meditation, trying to uh, calm the storm above. Apologies if it caused you some discomfort on the road. Well, it was uh, discomfort for me, but um, the little one here actually got hit in the face with the lightning. There you go. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Shows off his charge a big hole on the top of your head. <coughs> mm. Oh, that, that is quite a bad lightning strike you suffered there. Remarkable that you have survived. Um, Tear that strong. Tear that awesome. <laughs> well, I, I think we have a way if we could heal you. Uh, one moment, and he places his hands on your head. It stings a little bit. And he is going to do a thing. I just need to double check to make sure what I'm going to do is right. He's going to charm. He grasp one. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to charm Tedak into fighting his friends. I mean, what? He just suddenly goes unlimited power. <laughs> that would be amazing and terrifying at the same time. Right. This is so that we're talking about. You gain 40 hit points. Yay. Oh, nice. Yeah. As he focuses, oh. somebody he's done is takes a deep breath as if, you know, sort of that amount of mental focus he's just put himself through is quite draining. Oh. Yeah, that seems to have healed the worst of it. I can't do much about the, uh, the scar tissue, unfortunately. That is all I can do for now. 
Tedek fine with this? Tedek thinks scars are a sign of bravery and battle stuff. Stuff. <laughs> kind of likes to prove yourself. Yeah. Tedek, Tedek, want to be strong? Gives us some thought. Follow me, I. I think I have something that might entertain you for whilst we wait on news of the Grand Master. Oh no. <sighs> and he leads over the door. He suggests for the rest say. of you to come along. Yes, come along, everyone. Come Incoming there. Tower of Death! Quite <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> some things. <coughs> so you guys are not going to see it just yet. Okay, then takes you out this way. Oh. Oh. Right. So which now you come to an open courtyard. Uh, this bit back here is meant to be a waterfall, but I have no decent waterfall like texture. Ooh. But it falls down into this large central pond, which seems to drain somewhere underneath the rock in the middle. And then he leads you into this final room. Oh. In this final room sits a central channel, which water thro flows through at a violent rate from above. And it seems to drain out elsewhere. Various pillars scatter the room with holes and slits. And he says to young t that this is our, our training room, if you will. Oh. It is but a simple challenge. And he gestures all the way to this back corner over here, where you can just make out in the very back corner. Why is there battle music in here? There's a battle music in here. Let's get that out of that playlist. Thank you very much. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, in the back, far back corner of the room, you can see um, what looks like a pedestal with a small glowing gemstone on top of it. Uh, for you, little one, a simple test. If you wish to prove yourself. And he points over to this far wall. You must start from over there, make your way down this far edge, across, up the river, and into the opposite corner to retrieve your prize. Well, this sounds like a laugh and a half. <laughs> Just say. Ted, I can <clears throat> accept challenge. <laughs> Just pounds his chest. Heck yeah. Here we go. I'd like your spirit, little one. Take your place, please, and I shall... Uh, the place know. was here? Indeed. Okay. <laughs> and I need to get to... The, the there. The corner, but you must go round the room. Okay. By the way, he stands next to you, next to the sluice and everything, and he pulls on a lever, and you hear, like, the sluice open up, the water rushes even faster than before, to the point that the pillars in the central channel here, almost, like, vanish underneath the water flow. Where? And then says for you to, to begin, the, the mechanism is now in play. Okay. So, the way this works is, every single pillar you come across is a trap of some sort. Okay. You, you will not get your, well, you do get your danger sense, because there's a trap you can see. Okay. But their DCs will vary. Okay. Uh, so, make your first move through the first trap, and I'll let you know what the rolls you need to make. Um. So, are these pedestals something that I can stand on? You can jump on them. They are a good seven feet off the ground. Okay. I will <coughs> rolls on jumping. So, bear with me. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> Okay, I'm just trying to plot my route. That is fine. Yeah. You plot your jump. As I look mm. at the rules for high jumping, wherever they have gone. That I mean, he can jump 12 feet, like, lengthways. Yes. Like, if, if he does a running jump, he can only jump half when he does a standing jump. 
-hmm. And you can do okay. a high jump equal to 3 plus your strength modifier. Okay, so that would be... Th that would be 4 then, because he has a modifier of 1. Okay. Uh, yeah. Teardag is going to start over here. Mm -hmm. He's going to attempt to run and jump onto this pillar. Okay, then. Go ahead. Yeah. And, uh, make an athletics or acrobatics check as you go to land on the pillar. Okay, righty-ho. Let's see. Please be good. 14. That sadly is a fail. Well, Ooh. you make it to the pillar, and as you make that final few feet and land, <coughs> the water um, flow, I was trying to think of the word it wouldn't come to me, is so quick it like takes your feet out from under you and you find yourself slipping and falling. Um, I guess I would like to attempt to grab onto the pillar, maybe try and climb up. You can do. But first of all, you take six points of bludgeoning damage from the fall. Okay, I'm fine with this. Ooh, okay. And now go ahead and make either a strength or a dexterity saving throw for me. Um, shocking, shockingly enough, my strength saving throws is bigger than uh, a dexterity, so go strength. Indeed, because Barbarians is strength and con. Yep. Hey, that's it. Okay, managed to make the check. You do manage to hang on and like grip onto the pillow at the last second. Although the water flow is incredibly quick. I was going to say, um, just so do I manage to climb up it then? You're currently holding your position. If you want to climb up, you need to make a strength, an athletics check for me. Oh, actually, I do have a plan. Okay, what I want to do is I want to let go of the pillar so that I can get to this space here. Let the, wa let the water carry me down to this space here. Okay, so go ahead and make your athletics as you go to swim down. Because you just need to have some modicum of control. God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh, hang on! I get advantage on strength checks! Hold on! Oh, Wait a minute, boys! Anything, are you? Fuck! Hold on! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I recommend getting angry first. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to get angry because he kind of, yeah, he's just gonna use, he's gonna channel that anger, and he's gonna be like fucking angry, and he's gonna be like <laughs> frustration. Go! Okay. Please be good. Hey, that's better. Better. Okay, so you watch as T that paddles against <laughs> the current as like the angriest, most drowned cocker spaniel you can imagine. You do get to hear though. I need you now to make another athletics check for me. Come on. Okay, come on. Hey. Oi. That, Here we go. Yourself. You're not quite oh, sure. I was gonna, I was gonna climb on there. Okay, so you managed to pull yourself up over here, out of the water. You are drenched from head to toe. It's difficult to sort of keep your balance as, you, as your body constantly wants to lean forward when now you don't have to lean forward anymore. Yeah, um, you could just go shake off the water like a dog, and he's gonna head to that wall. Mm -hmm. And I have a funny feeling that if I get up to this point, something interesting will happen. Indeed, a trap triggers as you run past. I would like you okay. to make a dexterity save with advantage because danger sense is a thing. Heck yeah. Come on, dexterity. Ooh. Hey. Hey. You will take half damage from this. Okay. <coughs> You take 19 points of... Uh, no, half of that, so it'd be 10 points yes. of force damage. Okay. Uh, and yep. You all back here feel it as well, like, the very air it hits your chest, like there's a sonic boom going off, and T-Dak is, like, partially flying up against the wall. 
I managed yep. to scurry on through. Yep, scurry on through. Second trap number two. Well, first of all, I need you to make Ooh. another dexterity. Well, actually, another two dexterity checks. Uh, two dexterity uh, checks or saving throws? Uh, saving throws, rather, sorry. It's, it's so three two... throws you travel through. You have to make those saves. So, okay. Okay. Whoa. No saves, so roll. Pretty good. So half the damage again and again. So it would be la -da 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 -da. eight on the first eight. one, five on the second one. So 13 in total. Oh, God. Okay, let me do some maths. But, let let, let me get my abacus out. You don't need to be, have your abacus out. If you click on your token, the bubbles pop up. Click on your green um, bubble, which is your health, and you can say in the bubble, minus 13. Oh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> See, I'm I'm playing the character, you know. I'm playing I'm playing the character like properly. Role now. play. Role play. Yeah, role play. <laughs> role play. <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, there we go. Okay. As you get into that square, I would like you please to make a strength saving throw. Um okay, so so is it when I go to this square or is it when I do yeah, there? Okay, so strength saving throw. Uh, let me just double check to be sure. Strength checks and strength saving throws. Heck yes. Yes, the, the anger makes you strong. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. You all watch this till I get to that point, and instead of a trap actor facing from the pillar, it comes out from the wall on the other side, and Tidak like braces herself against an incoming crushing wall that she manages to force back and then squeeze on out through. And with that, the prize is within your grasp. Heck yeah, I take the prize. You go to take the prize, you hear the mechanism grind to a halt. The water goes from a thundering torrent back to a, a more gentle flowing stream. The pillars reveal themselves. And the monk sits there and claps his hand and goes, an interesting method around the course. However, I'm afraid I did say go round the room. But very interesting nonetheless. He's definitely, um... I am the shit! <laughs> I am <earned> it. <laughs> so, technically, I failed and sucked. <laughs> No, you just I'm rushing into things. <laughs> Tedak is the type to rush into things. Of course, that's True. his method. Plus, plus, you got angry. <laughs> yeah, I got angry, yeah. I got very angry. Like. Yeah. yeah oh I'm my god. I'm seeing your roundabout way of solving it, so. Hmm, an interesting proposal. That, uh, like, sort of crosses his mind. You can see him deep in thought. I don't have something I'd ask of you, if I may. I hope I'm not being too intrusive with my question. Oh? Oh, what's that? that? Uh, the truth is, we believe that Grandmaster has not actually been, uh, what the correct term, alive for some time, hence the increase in storm activity and we of the lesser rank are allowed to the higher levels they are meant for the masters who themselves haven't come to teach us we've been self-sufficient for some time before you all see that yes you can just jump back across no problem yeah i was gonna say i'm just gonna swim <laughs> across like German mouth like the proud dog that he is, even though he didn't really follow instructions. But when did he follow instructions? When does he? True. <coughs> <laughs> kind of worked out rather well for this mug, to be honest. But anyway, uh, you can keep the gem. It is but a bauble. No. But perhaps you can you can aid us with a, with a small small thing to try and get us... Uh, Upstairs. I mean, 
I mean, I'm sure we can try. We can certainly try. And he points towards the pool and says, you know, somewhere in there there is a mechanism. Apparently it's what the masters used to stop the waterfall from flowing down and blocking the entranceway. Perhaps another one of you can navigate such problems. What does re-navigate the water? Uh, I'm all of a test of endurance. I believe the masters always put it. I am but a lowly acolyte. I cannot do such things. Arlon sort of turns to um, Guard X and sort of gives him a look as if to say, well. <laughs> Go on, fish boy. I, it, it's like <laughs> as if I've knelt by the water as if to like look at the situation a little bit closer as I just turn back around to the monk and just go, what is it that I need to accomplish? <laughs> I had uh, a similar test as before. There was a small gem somewhere within the water. A simple test of go and retrieve the gem. And as you sit there and look at the edge, make a perception check for me, Dom. Okay, perception. Hup. Not great. Wow. But this pool is <laughs> deep. The work. I mean, as you're looking at it, it's like I can't even see the bottom. I can make out you can make out like the edge, and it's not rough dirt for the most part. It's actually rough dirt, and then it gets straight to mason stone. And you just keep going. Okay. Now, when you say deep, do you mean deep to the point where something could swim in it? That as in like a fish slash moderately sized aquatic creature or deep enough where it's just going to come up to like my chest or something. Oh, it's like deep enough something can swim and live in there. Right. We, we are talking Legend of Zelda Water Temple at maximum depth. Oh, bloody hell. So proper like in proper depth. Yes. Right. So, hence the, this is a test of endurance. Because I am just looking something up. <laughs> Can I make myself swim? Well, I'm looking uh, at options for a moment. If I recall, Can I be a fish? Well, I was going to say, I think someone's got a necklace on them. I might be wrong. I might be thinking of another group. Uh, what does this necklace do? I'll let you guys figure that out. I mean, I, I don't guess, remember I anything might, about necklace. I'm thinking of another group whilst doing this. I believe it might be. Oh. Uh, um. A necklace of water breathing or something? Quite possibly. Ah, here we are. Oh wow, that's okay. That the other option was better. All right. <laughs> so I'm I'm using my phone to look up uh, options. <laughs> I just can't help but guard X like doing a full wow thing, like sitting there reading a scroll, going nope, nope, nope. Somewhere in here. <coughs> is what right. I'm I have a plan. I will, before I do it, I will look to the monk and I will go, would the masters, would the masters allow their students to use any means necessary to accomplish this task? Or would they impose penalties if you were to use anything at your disposal? I believe the tests are within the realms of our training. The first test was for 
our agility and balance. This is for endurance. A constitution challenge, you might say. Hmm. I jump in. <laughs> I jump in. Uh, but I use wild shape to transform myself into a giant octopus. Do I even have a giant octopus in my token list? No, I really don't. Kraken! I do, I should have a giant octopus in my token list. Why don't I? Cloud giant. Giant octopus, there we go. Uh, can be controlled by garlic stone only. Done. There you go, so you now you have your wild shaped token. Huzzah! I have left the plank on purpose. Problem? Right, so we'll put your OT form up there for now, out of the way. Actually, yep. what I'll do is I'll throw you to the other layer. So there's no confusion. Okay, so you turn into an octopus, and I assume you begin swimming down. I will indeed. Okay. Uh, speed of 60 when in water. Okay, cool. That's pretty fast. That's pretty good. The rest of you, it takes a good couple of minutes for Gardex to come back up. But Gardex, in those two minutes, as you go down deep into the darkness, you can see the light above slowly fades away to just a tiny pinprick in these deep waters. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. I believe it's using your wisdom. It is. Because it is you. Squid. Pretty good. You can see mm. a gem beneath you. It's small. Oh, okay. It has a slight sapphire look to it. It has been cut to look almost like a bit of chest plate. Ooh. Okay. I go as close to it as I can. So, so it's like the stone's embedded into in a chest plate. Did you say no, sorry? No, it's been cut like a chest piece. Oh, okay, okay. Right. If if it were on a shelf, you'd think it was. Like someone's model of a suit of armor right i go i go down to where it is and i attempt to use my tentacles to grab it yeah you grab it no problem it pulls out of the the muck below quite happily good thing it's because you have a swim speed you don't have to make any checks whatsoever <coughs> there is a Sweet. current but there is fine but it's fine for a creature with swim speed Sweet. And once grabbing it, I will just begin going back up. Okay, the, the few minutes pass, and then Gardex appears holding this brilliant looking sapphire cut like a piece of chest armor. In squid form. <laughs> Excellent. Does he look like Squidworth? Is he not like fully re transformed? <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Squidworth, Squidworth. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, it's a pretty weird transformation. It goes like Squidworth to Davy Jones and then back to Gardex. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like I got, I just get, I get out of a transformation. I just shake off part of, a, part of a water, and I'm just like, I, I forget that an octopus feels clammy. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of mucus it gets everywhere, even in your boots. I just like I just like go to spit and it just spits ink. <laughs> <laughs> just coughing up. <laughs> there we go, can get rid of that now. So yes, you, you now have two gems. Ah. Twitch the monkey's quite pleased with this. I go fantastic. You have surpassed my wildest expectations. Uh, with this now I can begin to I hope open the way. If if I may have the gems from the two of you. I give my one over. Dedek. 
Can I, as oh, Kira, God's make sake, no. an oh, insight yeah. check? Go ahead and make an insight check. And Melren uh, probably can too. Go for it. Anyone that wants to, go ahead and make an insight check. Okay, let's, let's try. Oh, my insight check is quite high. Are you wisdom should be more. Woo! Ooh. I said I just burped in, in the microphone for anyone. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah, Kira, yeah, Kira rolled an 18. Very nice. Kira, the only one that has succeeded is Gardex. If my page will load, because that's always the favourite of my page. Speaking forever. It's an insight check, was it? Indeed. Yes. A sight of the inward yeah. of a natural 20. Nice. Garlic and Marlon, you are the only two that really picked this up. Um, when he said, like, the balls were useless, he was sort of white lying you. They, they are useful, but once he's done, they will be useless. But he has no ill intent. It seems to be part of the ritual to unlock the upper floors. I would just look on cautiously. I mean, Tedak still has the gem, so I mean, I could technically not give it to him. Like, he's looking to everyone else, more or less. Um, like, sh shall we? Shall I? It's a little one, pass on the gem. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Tedak will pass the gem on to the monk. Fantastic. <coughs> we all die! I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have a plan. <laughs> a, a plan. Okay, so he walks across the water, serene as and divine as one can be. Good. He then proceeds <laughs> to sit cross legged on the stone. He sits there with both stones in each hand, falls into a deep meditative trance. And above you can hear the storms getting slowly worse and worse and worse. And then, sort of simultaneously from the water, you see a figure sort of form up from the water. It begins to take on a humanoid form. Arms, leg and a head. And from above, a splinter of cloud sort of wafts down. And as it touches the water, it likewise takes on a humanoid form. And I'd like everyone to roll initiative for me. Ha! Called it! Oh god. What is up with my initiative? Wow! <laughs> I have plus nine. I have in plus nine. Okay, uh, why has it not rolled my initiative? What? That's a load of lies, and apparently. Click on the right token for the right initiative. Right, so this is Tedak. There we go. Kira is there you going can to see me on the map. There we go. 22. Oh, there's so many fun and interesting things to happen, but in the sending order. So T Deck gets to go first. Okay, so. Hmm. You, so, I mean, you said that the guy in the middle there, like, had no ill intent. Indeed. Right. Well, Tedak is going to rage. Yeah, because part of me is, like, thinking, because those two came up because the guy did the thing, Tedak would probably think that he may be the enemy. So, that was the reason why I asked. Okay. Okay. An, an appropriate so. thing for you. Okay. You got the anime angry. Okay. Tedek is then going to try and launch himself at this being there with the spear. Two handed. Go! Oh, that was Kira, and that was with advantage. Whoopsie. Um, 
So, do you want me to roll again? No, that's fine. It was using your shit. It's just your playing yeah. as Kira. Yeah. Okay. So, you, you rush in. The 16 misses. Okay. The blood uh, off and you find yourself treading water. Oh, boy. So just okay. Swimming is fine, but because you don't have a swim speed, all of your attacks are at disadvantage. Okay. Seeing as that plan didn't work, Telek is going to bring... Okay, question. With a short sword, would that technically give me just normal... Like, uh, like normal, um, Blumen attack because it's a finesse weapon and it's light? No, sadly, it's still at disadvantage. Okay, then acid dagger it is. Like, yep, it's, it's good time. You're trying to keep yourself above water constantly. Um. Because the water is deep. Yeah, um... Because I was going to try and stab it with a dagger. You can try and stab it with a dagger. But would that still be with disadvantage? Yep. Oh, okay. Sad face. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just going to go with Speary McSpear face. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Come on. Fuck. Never mind. No, you Sad thrash face. around with the spear and this creature sort of drifts around it as if no effect can be had. Next up would be Kira. Oh, I, I wanted to move. Um, I would like to... Uh, swim, climb out of the water. So, uh, yeah, I was there, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was 10 feet? Yep. 10, 15, 20, 20... Five, thirty, thirty-five. Okay, I'm done. Again, gets an attack of opportunity against you. Ah, oh, well, the twenty-six hits. You take eight points of piercing damage. Ow! So you are stabbed with a trident. The third, this elemental then just summons to it from seemingly itself. Sad face. Okay, as Kira. Uh, she is going to expend one superiority die. If I can actually find... Where on earth is a superiority die stuff gone? No, it should still be on there. Yeah, it no, is... If not, you just roll d8s for... Oh, oh, right, okay, yeah. I, I just wanted to know how many superiority dice she has. Okay, so she's going to use evasive footwork. And I think that the superiority die is a D8. D8. Okay. Okay. D8. Go. Ah, Shizer. So this could be 22. Yeah. Okay. So uh, her race has now gone up to 22. She's now a tank once again. Okay. Uh, and she is... Oh, God. Right. She's gonna go. Uh, let me see how many, how much movement does she have? Thirty. Okay. She's gonna use a bonus action to dash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, hang on. Hang action. on. Right. Five, ten, fifty, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and then with a hand crossbow, she's going to try and, like, shooty, shooty. Uh, which one is she shooty, shooty? Uh, the one, this one here. Okay, the air elemental. Oh, lovely. Okay, so I think, yeah, she... I was going to say she gets extra attack because she's a fighter. Huzzah! So, hand crossbow. Hand crossbow. But who's hit for an astonishing 12 points of damage? I'm guessing she doesn't get anything for sneak attack. Uh, 
I think she gets sneak attack when there's no one within five feet. Um, I oh, that's a that's a good point because she, I think she has swashbuckler. Indeed. Um, yeah, we double check. I, I think I think I think that's a high. I think that's a higher level. I think that's a higher level. She's fifth level, and uh, I think you get it at a higher level. Um, but I will double check while. Uh, but yeah, I will double check while you do a thing. Okay, no. I would have assumed that she. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, you also gain an additional way to use your sneak attack. You don't. Oh, there, if no other creature was in. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, she gets her sneak attack. Okay. Roll her sneak attack. Um. Okay. Oh, I think I've set it to her sneak attack button. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let, let me break it while I press the button! That is so much like a Warhammer 40,000 log thing. Yeah, there we go. Push the button. Seven! Wow. Seven! Okay, you've got okay. your two crossbow bolts. Uh, Kira notices that these bolts don't do a lot of damage. Um, could she relay that to everyone saying that they may be resistant to these sorts of melee based attacks or just ranged attacks? Magic might be more effective. Quite possibly. <laughs> okay. Yep. She's going to relay that. Wonderful. Right. <coughs> The, the Myrmidon now is going to move forward. Oh, it uses lightning boy. strike ability. So, first of all, do I even hit with the flail? Just. Yes. Yeah, just. So, you take a uh, seven bludgeoning plus additional. As a reaction, Tedak is going to uh, do the, uh, the, the spirit shield. So. Instead, uh, yeah, he's okay, he's that level. Okay, so reduce it down to two hit points. Okay, so that's fine. Whew, okay, okay, so two points of bludgeoning, 14 points of lightning. Oh, shizer. Okay. And Kira needs to make a constitution saving throw. DC 13. Okay. If she fails, she is stunned. Okay. I know I... Uh, but yeah, you know what? I'm just going to swap. Uh, constitution saving throw. No! Ja oh, man. Just failed. Yep. Sadly, that is... The little one stunned. Well, Kira's... Oh, was that was the lightning? Oh, was that for Kira? Okay, she's stunned. Gosh, Kira, darn Kira it. be stunned, and that'd be the Marmaduke's go. Now it's the water elemental's go. <coughs> right, it's gonna move up onto the edge of the coast of the pond, like thing, and it likewise is gonna do its freezing strikes. So the first one is for Cardix. <coughs> that is miss. That's a miss. Second one is for Melvin. And that's a hit. Oh. Oh no. Ooh. So Melvin, you take Ooh, ten points oh. of missing damage, ten points of cold <coughs> damage. Christ! Oh. And your speed is reduced by 10 feet until the end of the Marmaton's next turn. Dang! So... minus 20? Yep. And then Godex, since he's got a spare third attack, is going to take another jab at you. And... oh, that just matches my armor class. Okay. So you take 8 piercing, and an additional 8 cold. And likewise, your speed is reduced by 10 feet. Right. So. 
as you both feel a horrible chill go through your bones. Eat. Yeah. All right, that brings us now around to Cardix. Right. I've been spending this time thinking with my with my own Twitch chat, <laughs> plotting, and I've been stopped between one of two different ideas. But it depends on one thing. Is this guy in the center problematic? <laughs> or is he just simply in a meditative state while these guys are up and active? He seems to be in a meditative state whilst these two are up became up and active. Right. I, ne I need to ask my party members one thing. Do we give a damn about the guy in the middle? <laughs> I mean, it's not... I don't think he, mean, he meant any harm while s summoning... Uh, how, wait, hold on. She failed her, like, freaking inside check. Never mind. Um, I mean, you I mean, you said he didn't mean any harm, and I guess this is kind of like a security measure? I don't know. Well, he, anything I can roll to determine whether this is security-based or whether this is actually being summoned by him. Make an arcana check. Oh, God, no. Uh, I asked for it though. G go, my crap intellect! Damn! <laughs> it's it's certainly not deliberate. Put it that way. Right, right. That that literally answers all my quandaries, ladies and gentlemen. Let's screw things up. Uh, right. With that in mind, I'm going to conjure minor elementals. <laughs> okay, what elemental are you summoning? I am summoning specifically eight steam methods. Specifically four around this one and four around this one. Hang on, right, those are all four there. Copy and paste. Lovely. Uh right, hang on, these are open up there. Token sheets, go to the edit tab. Can be edited and controlled by Godix. There you go, you should have control over all eight methods. Oh, lovely stuff. And they are positioned as such. And likewise, you should be able to see an edit character sheet. <laughs> if you alt double click on the token, it will open up the character sheet. Oh, let me. Uh, oh, uh, alt. Yeah, and then double left click. It'll pop up oh, like double left. Sheet. Oh, it's... It's not doing it. It's, it's, it's not a big problem. I've actually got their character sheet on my phone through D&D okay. &D Beyond, which I highly recommend. Uh, <laughs> segue. Anyway. Right, it, it really is. Right, so... With my methods, we are going to do a thing. <coughs> uh, well, first off, do I... No, I don't want to move. That's absolutely fine. Right. Well, go, my methods, go. With these... Just checking their bits. Right. These for all eight of them are going to cast blur okay. on themselves. So they all start blurring up, going super fast. And whilst they're whilst they're blurring, they're basically blurring, trying to imitate like multiple copies of themselves being surrounding these guys. Yeah, and all you just hear are the cackles of little annoying, like goblin-y, <laughs> goblin-y things going, <laughs> just <laughs> evil, yeah, like little little, little cackles of. Little, little, little. Looking at them like, what the snake is okay. <laughs> and I will basically just look at them and, and just go, now it's a battle. <laughs> 
All right then. And there we go. Sweet. That now brings us to will... Marlon's go. Yes. Um, let's see. Actually killing the person. <laughs> Certainly doable. He's unaware. He would Do you see anyone on the map? Uh, I can't actually see anyone on the map. Over here. Yeah, I can only see my icon. Really? You should be able to see everyone. Everyone has vision. <laughs> I, I can only see me. Um, yeah. There we go. It's the dynamic are. lighting again. Yeah, sorry. That was my bad. I thought the door was one square lower. Which is why I was like, you should be able to see everyone. You're at the door. Fighting these little things that are around us. Mm -hmm. Alright, my character sheet's taking so long to load. Why is it my character sheet takes so long? I suspect it's because, like, Tash, your laptops are old and that RAM is... But it's only... it's... It's a year and a half old, so I wouldn't say it was... That is... Yeah, two years, maybe. Two years, years old. Anyway... Again, I, I can't figure out what it is without physically looking at it. No, it's just, <laughs> and it's only on roll 20, I mean. Yeah. Alright then, so Grease, who are you greasing? Oh, uh, accurately, where were you greasing? Just in front of me. So around the edge of the, of the pool. Sort of that 10 square area? Yeah. Okay, dogs. Water mode on. Oh, he cannot be knocked pro. Oh, wow. So you throw the grease all over him, and it sort of soaks up, and he goes from a wonderful clear blue to like a really. Like, you can see the blobs of grease flowing up through him, and he like, almost seems to physically wretch as he begin to flow up in various places. I can't, oh, actually, I could bring up tri drones. I was going to say, I can't do anything else, but I could bring out tri drones. Indeed, you could. And I will send them across the other side. To go aid Kira. Yeah. Uh, what was their speed at these days? Let's have a look. See. 30. To sort of upgrade my tri drones because I'm sure I can make. Get better ones by now. Uh, I certainly can. I guess just taking down time to do it. All right, the monk's turn. The monk needs to make a save. That's fine. Oh. His meditation goes undisturbed. Oh. All right, that brings us now around to Melrin's go. Yes. Well, culture, culture wraps you and slows you down. Yeah, Melrin is gonna just uh, <coughs> pull out his uh, the Shiro's fangs as a as swords or daggers but um, he will be hitting the elemental in front of him I will then go ahead and make your swings with advantage and get you out of your sneak attack in at the end yes just a moment I need to take the right character sheet Here we are. Uh, here we are, Twin Blades. Oh, 
Oh. Very nice. Did you want to burn any? Uh, I could actually burn two charges on it. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll your sneak attack plus an additional two d six. Uh, two d eight rather, not two d six. Get the damage right. So d eight on the fangs. D uh two d eight. Very nice. So, in one fell swoop, the water elemental in front of you has gone from looking pretty healthy to a very painful state. You can almost say he was bloodied. Oh, okay. <coughs> well. In almost one round of combat, which is rather frightening. Anything else you want yeah. to do for your turn? Hmm. Actually, no. All right then. Have we just run to Tidak? Okay. Righty ho. Uh, Tidak is going to run over here. He's going to try and take some of the uh, aggression off Kira. And pokey stab with Gungnir's spear. Go for it. Just also, making sure you that. Right there, you go flank. Uh, where? Dunno. Okay. Cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, right. So, spear the first. Spear the second. Someone might air elemental. Yes, they both hit. What would you like to know? Um, vulnerabilities, please. Vulnerabilities, they have none. Well, sadness. And yeah, these are elementals. Hmm. I'm going to use a bonus action mm -hmm. to use second wind. And he is uh, that level fighter. He gets 12 hit points back. Lovely. Okay. Oh, God. And then I'm debating whether to do an action surge. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do an action surge. So, yeah. Action, so, action surge. Spear. Ooh, nice. I mean, that was meant to be with advantage, but I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That's pretty nasty. And that. Right, because he is not very happy that this air elemental dude is trying to kill his reading tutor. The, the person who volunteered to teach him how to read. And he is not happy. I don't know, you do a nasty chunk of damage. What would you like to know from those two hits? Stat as block, a... please. Okay, I was going to say, as a critical, I'll let you learn something else as well. So, okay. So in order of modifier, from lowest to highest, minus one, you have two zeros, two twos, and a four. Okay. Um, And then... Resist... Like... Immunities or resistance? Well, like, yeah, I was going to say, is immunities the one of the options? Yes. Uh, they are immune to poison damage, and they okay. cannot be paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, or prone. Tedag will relay this, uh, and Kira is still stunned. Indeed. Ah, oh, man. Stunned? Yeah, he's done. He just was waking up. Yeah, and I think that will be everything that Tedak can say. Like, he'll relay this for... Well, I mean... Yeah, he's like, Kira, you gotta do that! Oh, wait, you're you're not... Oh, sad face. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I can't zap you again. Good, good. Good to know. 
<laughs> Good. However, <laughs> you get to be yeah. smacked all over the place. Bring it on. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I'm probably going to regret everything. Okay, miss. Flail one, flail two, flail three. Ooh. Miss. Miss, miss, and whiff. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> ching, ching, I guess you could say, ching, ching. oops, ah, sad you hear to see, oops, ah, sad you hear. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. And I don't get to refresh that one either. That's depressing. Hee <laughs> hee. Wow. Uh, this one, however, is going to turn his attention to the methods. Not for methods. Oh, Remember, yes. disadvantage because of blur. <laughs> yep, thank you for reminding me. So, one. This is where they all start dying. Probably not. Cause... Okay, so let me check the their ACs. So, AC of, AC of 10. So, one of the tridents hits one of them. Pick one, I don't mind which. I will pick this little method. And <coughs> see, air yeah, elemental is bloody. Okay. However, that that now brings us to Garlic's turn, and I suspect I'm about to have the beating of a lifetime. <laughs> oh boy! Um, right. Starting of which, I will just simply. Uh, it's it's like it's like as if I'm trying to get the attention of the methods, but it's not really working that well. And so I've just like smacked down the hammer to get to get their real attention. Quite quite using the gavel no. as it's in Dame's sake. Basically. <laughs> and I'm just like I'm just like Boys It's time to boil some water. <laughs> As they, as they, they just continue cackling in their dancey, blurry way, uh, and I will, instead of bringing down the flame, will bring in the shock with a giant f off hammer, starting with bash. Oh, that's a lot of pain. Uh, that hits. Oh. Don't forget, your attacks have advantage, by the way, because you're flanking with a method. Ooh. Uh, if that's the case, I'll swing this one a second time, and then I'll switch it to advantage. Go for it. Uh, uh, okay, so... Is this better? Mm, yes, it is. Effort. I was waiting to see if you crit. Okay, roll that second one with advantage. Okay. I'll turn advantage on for this one, and hickety mongbo see me dumbo. Let's go. Oof. Also a hit with a big chunk of damage following up behind. Big smash. Massive smash. It can barely hold its form together if you take like two massive chunks out of it with the warhammer. Um, sort of like part of its upper body form. Which looks like the gemstone you recovered is now like gushing water constantly. Nice. Okay, and with that in mind, it's time to unleash the methods. I Not the Muppets, it's just something completely different. <laughs> so with with me some methods. We are going to, well, first off, you've got a, okay, that's, that's, that's a, that's a bad one because that's going to hit me. It's a bad one because that's going to hit Marlon. That's a bad one because it hits all three of us. <laughs> yeah, I can tell what you were looking at. We were that's a bad one because it still hits all three of us. But that's okay. Because that's not what I was planning to do with these methods. Uh, so the methods that are around this one mm -hmm. are going to simply whip out their claws and attempt to slash the living daylights out of this thing. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, okay, uh, so I can, I'm gonna... I can click on the claw attacks on here if you want. Oh, I'm gonna... Bear with me. I'm just gonna see whether it will let me... Uh, 
Okay, it's not control. Uh, no, it's it's left alt and double left click. It should be open up the character sheet. Double left click. Okay. Ibidi. No. Ibidi. No. Ibidi. No. Wait a minute. I wonder if it's because my character sheet's up. Ibidi. No. <laughs> I have eight character sheets up right now. Oh man. Um. Tits. Uh. Never mind. I will do it the old-fashioned way oh, I of copying and pasting. <laughs> Try it now. I I think it might be because it's not in your journal. Oh, let's have a look. And uh, Hey, there we go. So, turns out you need to add it to the journal. It doesn't matter if you have control or not. Okay, so. What a weird system. Uh, so one, two, one, two, three, and four. So we need four claw attacks. So we have <clears throat> one. Two, three, four. I think good. All of them miss. They just bloody methods. <laughs> just begin clawing at the water. So it's like I can look at those four methods, and I'm just like, why do I rely on methods? <laughs> the universe asks its own question every time you summon them. But then we have these four methods. Oh yes, we do. And they all get advantage because they're all flanking. Yes. And just like you guys, top right of the sheet, there is the now, advantage button. Do we have a do we have a thing for a fifteen foot cone? Yes, I do. Just want to see if because I don't want it to necessarily hit any of my duty dudes. I just need to check. Uh, nope. Oh, lovely, thank you. Okay, so. 15 foot cone. There you go, we should have control over it. Okay. Right, so. That is okay. That's. Not gonna help me for now, but that's that's okay. I need I just needed to know that. Right. These other four methods, just using their advantage to their benefit, are also gonna just unleash claw attack. Not a claw attack. So advantage on okay, and we need one, two, another series of four method claw strikes. One two just, if anyone gets over an 18, they kind of deserve the slash. Three. Hey! hey! One. One's great. And a four. Hey! <laughs> nice. Brilliant. Well done, boys. <laughs> Seven. And then... 13 on the second one. Ooh, it's in a lot of pain. It's very much hurt. Lovely. I don't think they not seem to use that kind of damage. Oh, hey. And they will just keep keep up the cackles for two that I actually managed to hit. I just look I just look over at them and I'm just and I'm just like, boys, follow their example. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I forgot. Kira is no longer stunned and also Garlix and Melvin, you guys are no longer movement restricted. Well hey. Alright. We're free. <laughs> Free game! I didn't get my recharge, so I can get the extra hits in. Alright, and uh, that brings us now around to Marlon, the mighty wizard. Uh, I will make his Trojans have an attack. Three. Six, yep, so you'll try to throw their javelins, one of them scores a hit. And then I will sticky stick in front of me. Go for it. 
for it and make your attack roll. It's having a 14 is a miss. Damn. All right, then, little monk. My little monkey dude, I'd like you to make a con save. Uh, it's just a pulse. No real effects happen. <laughs> All right. So that brings us now to Melrin's go. Well, Melrin is still pretty pissed off that there's a, uh, I think, water elemental in front of him. Indeed, a water elemental myrmidon. Yes. Yeah, so he is just going to slash out of it, out to it, with his twin blades again. Make it. With advantage. My laptop's decided to die. Whoa. Oh dear, that's bad timing. I'll be right back. Okay. Alrighty All right, then. You kill the water elemental as you do so. You watch as the two gems that the monk was holding and meditating, the one in his left hand, shatters into pieces. Got yes. Like a fine dust in his hands. I'll just put that over there for now. Uh, anything else you want to do for your turn? You can still move, and you still have your bonus action. Hmm. Well, because he doesn't like to be in uh, the certain way, uh, because this is way too easy target. He is actually going to move by 10, 15, 25 feet. Okay, that was. That thing's just trying to t at the top of the round. Okay, righty ho. Uh, yeah, t deck is going to stabby stabby with the spear. Oh, that was okay. So I'm gonna roll like that. Then to like one attack with advantage, like with advantage, and then I'll just roll the second one with like the advantage. Go. Thing. go. There we go. Sadly, that one's a miss. But your first attack does hit. What, would, what else would you like to know? Um. So I've done stat block, immunities, uh, um, vulnerabilities, and I'm trying to think what else is left. You can have its AC, its HP, and any resistances. Uh, let's go with HP, please. These guys have 18 hit dice. And they have a total hit points on average of 117. Okay, so these are pretty tanky, tanky boys. Yes. Hence the reason why they're okay. in this arena. Okay, um, yeah, I I think that's all Tedek can really do for the time being. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think. So that means okay. To the mighty Kira now unstunned. Right, Kira is not best pleased with um, what has just occurred. So she is going to use. Okay, so it is. So in order, is it like Eyes Claw, Rapier, and Rapier of Warning that she does? She does Eyes Claw twice, then the Rapier of Warning is a bonus action. Okay, cool. And since she's flat, since she's flanking with one of the uh, air method things. Yep. Uh, she, I guess, will... She will have advantage and she will get a sneak attack, which I think she has as a toggle. Uh, yeah. So you can toggle it for the first attack. See if it hits. I highly suspect it will. It is Kira, after all. 24? Oh, yes. That's a hit. Huh. Like, did it actually do the, um, toggle? No, it didn't. It's just a okay. dex and... Okay, I'll do. I'll just do the sneak attack via the shiny button there. Go for it. Okay. Click the button. Button. 
Okay. God it's damn. Still alive. Uh, yeah, does a natural 20 hit? <laughs> <laughs> yes. How's a nat 20 for you? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Rapier of Warning. Okay. That does more damage than the, the dang artifact. That's somewhat irritating. But you know what she hasn't had yet? Action Surge! It so, dies on the second hit. Oh, it dies on the second hit. Yeah, okay, then he doesn't do. point after the first attack with the sneak attack damage. Ah, okay. And with that, oh. you are all clear of what slays the air elemental. The monk, the second gem in his hand, shatters and turns to dust and he's like woken from his meditative reverie and looks at his hands and goes, uh, whoops. That's not meant to happen. And as he like shakes his hands because he doesn't know what to do at this point, the waterfall back here begins to stop flowing, and behind you can see a doorway. Ooh. Nestled behind the waterfall. And in, yes, if you want to, you can cue the Zelda. Da -da 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 -da. So I know someone oh, chat, oh. someone's chat will do it. <laughs> <laughs> it is very much like fight, and now you have access to the next level. But that is where we shall end tonight's stream. Yes. As it is ten o'clock. Uh -huh. So once again, thank you all for playing. I hope everybody's uh, also enjoyed watching it. Yes. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. Also, as a final reminder, this Saturday, 2 o'clock, Tales of Gaming Addiction Twitch channel is a 24-hour stream for charity. All donations and stuff during that time go to Mental Health UK, and I will be doing a donation match to viewership. So more average viewers, more money I donate. So there we go. That should give incentive for people to join. Bankrupt some poor soul. <laughs> And with that, we shall see you all next time. I love you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.